All right, let's get started on cleaning up our drill press and re-gearing our bandsaw so we can cut some steel. First things first, I want to blow off all the wood dust because, you know, cutting metal and stuff, you got sparks inherently. I don't want to set that sawdust on fire. And same thing for the drill press. So what we'll do, push them outside. I'll use the compressor. I'll blow them off, get them all nice and clean. Start with a clean slate. Now for the drill press, we don't really have to do anything at all. Uh, it's just clean up on this. The belts are still nice and soft, uh, pliable, everything spins freely. Um, but there was some surface rust on the plate and you can see the difference. All I did was soaked everything with WD-40 to kind of get through some of that gunk and if there's any adhesive or anything from stickers or anything. And just hit it with a scotch bright. Um, probably gonna have to do that a couple times, get it nice and cleaned up. But other than that, the drill press is good to go. I've, um, just have to adjust the belts to get it to the right speed, and that's all on a label there. But now what I need to do is do some math. These wood bandsaws usually run at like 2,000. 2,000 feet per minute per minute I don't recall but there's some math that you can do now this motor is a straight speed motor so it only spins at 1 rpm and this one spins at 1725 rpm I'm not sure the size of this pulley here but I'll measure that and then this one is a 5 inch well that's not going to get us anywhere near the speed that we need to cut metal, which is, I think the sweet spot's right around 200 feet per minute for a bandsaw blade. Now, I did order a bandsaw blade. Um, if you have one of these bandsaws, it takes an 80 inch. So, I went ahead and ordered that. It's on the way. Um, I think I'm going to wire wheel this thing, get it cleaned up as good as I can, and we'll take the pulleys off and start figuring out... Uh, what we need to do is slow this bad boy down. Those pictures and stuff kind of get you to where we are now. We've got our bigger pulley that drives the wheels that are attached to the bandsaw blade, which I've yet to put in here. Um, 
we've got a small pulley on our motor that then runs this other big pulley these two are the same of course links to everything in the description and this pulley sits on a common shaft it's a 5 8 shaft that's keyed and then there's another small pulley that small pulley then runs this that's how we get our reduction all of that is supported by two pillow block bearings and those pillow block bearings are sitting on some pieces of angle iron that you saw me cut out and they are welded to the stand so and they're just tacked in right now once I know everything's where it really needs to be I'll go ahead and burn it in fully I do have to cut another relief for the belt that comes from here down to that small pulley um, but what we're waiting on now are some belts and to keep from having to measure and all that stuff and possibly get it wrong I went ahead and ordered some of the adjustable belts and once those come in I'll show you guys and those holes that you saw me cut into that angle iron did it with the drill press drill press was a no-brainer just lift the lid oh you're not supposed to see that yet uh, just lift the lid and there's a guide in there that tells you um, what speed to get um, by moving the belt around the pulleys and it even lists steel as one of the options so yeah that's pretty self-explanatory no big deal there all right so uh, the power of video editing the belts will be here now belts on now kind of clearance everything it's still a little rough cut so I'll go back with some files and the angle grinder and stuff and get it cleaned up I'm planning on painting this base too um, but you see why I kind of went with the these adjustable belts you can take a link out kind of like on a bicycle chain to shorten it up or you can add one to make it longer they are a little more expensive than just the regular rubber V belts but they seem pretty robust so hopefully they last longer uh, we've got all of our pulleys hooked up all the belts everything's pretty tight so let's fire it up you can really see how fast that First pulley spinning, and then it slows down here. Then that small pulley is even slower, and that big pulley is way slower. I mean, you can visually tell the difference there. And that's spinning really slow, so that's what we want. Uh, that looks really good to me, so what I'm going to do is string the blade on it. Try to cut some steel. Well, I think that's it for the bandsaw conversion. You saw it cut steel, some 10 gauge. It's cutting it pretty good. Um, my belt's slipping a little bit, so I just need to go in and retension everything. And I'll probably run it for a little bit and retension it again as everything stretches and everything. I uh, just need to finish welding in the angle iron for the bearing supports, make some sort of cover for the belts, slap a coat of paint on it. Well, that's it. This one's done. Um, can get right to using it, which I actually have some stuff I need to do, so I'll jump right on that. 
But, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Get up. Get out there and do it.